Hey, it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, I want to answer a question that I received on YouTube. So I created a video a few months back about credit cards and how to enter them, and I received a question. Um, once I clicked on it, I think it had been removed, but I wanted to take the time to answer it in case somebody else also had the question, which is how to do with entering credit card charges and that when she was entering them, it was lumping them all together and she wanted to know if she was doing something wrong. So I don't know if she's fixed it and that's why she deleted the question, but just in case you have the same question, when you're going in and you are entering credit cards, there are two ways to do your credit cards. If you pay them off every month, you can write a check, but the re reason... I don't always recommend that is you don't get as much detail. So what I recommend doing is you can go from here on the homepage, enter credit cards, or under banking, enter credit card charges up here. And what you're gonna do is you're going to pick your credit card that you've already set up. If you don't know how to do that, feel free to watch this other video that I created on YouTube here. And it's called how to enter credit card charges into QuickBooks. I'll link it below this video. But what you're going to want to do when you're inside of QuickBooks is you're going to want to pick your credit card, set it up, then you're going to want to enter each of your charges. So in her example, she was talking about Home Depot. You would put Home Depot, the date that you charged it on your credit card. Typically, you're going to be doing your credit card at the end of each month when you get your credit card statement. You enter in all your credit card charges at that time. And then you take the time to reconcile. So you're going to enter in your date. You're going to enter in your dollar amount. I'm just going to create one here, put it to repairs. And in this example, I have classes set up, so I'll leave that if you click save and close. What you do is when you go under vendors and you pull up your Home Depot, you'll see it should just have one transaction and showing that you used your credit card. So to answer her question, each time you're using your credit card, you're gonna wanna make sure you do each individual transaction separately. And what her comment was talking about is it was lumping them together. So as long as you're doing it this way, you shouldn't have any problem. She was talking about inside of the register. So let's go into the chart of accounts and I'll show you inside the credit card what it also looks like. So if you go down, you pick your credit card. The, re the way I got to the chart of accounts is you go to lists, chart of accounts, pick your credit card, double click, and it will come up and it should show each individual transaction separately. You'll see there's other transactions in here from when I was teaching my Confidence with QuickBooks creating my course. So that's what those are from, but you'll notice Home Depot, Ace, those are in here separate. And then it shows different payments or returns that we did and an opening balance. So I hope that answers your question. I am enjoying getting these questions on YouTube. So if you have a question that you want answered for your QuickBooks, please email me or leave a comment inside of YouTube. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.